and uh, hello good evening and today I will demonstrate on how to run our program which is our uh, login system so we will start to uh, turn on our server which is we are using ZAMP so let's get let's start start and then we will going to open our browser again so that's it so now we will test our uh, login system to enter our credentials so we will try to check if, if this user is uh, can log can log in. So I am using. We will test our program. So when I try to uh, log in using the correct username and the wrong password the system will uh, decline or decline the uh, information so uh, it says access denied and login failed so we'll try again using our uh, using the uh, wrong wrong username and uh, correct password we'll try it so it says username does not exist and login failed We'll try. We'll try using the the correct uh, username and the correct password. This is admin. Admin. Okay. We'll try to. Okay. So the system will check it is found or exists or something like uh, have an account or and then this is uh, this misses login successful so now we will try to look the look at the uh, code uh, let's get into it to our uh, visual studio code so for this um, so this is my code uh, HTML code this is uh, the form that I'm using and then uh, I am using that PHP for my extension here and then uh, this is my login validator which is I stored my um, details here in an array and then if the then I will get the uh, user information from the uh, user form and then um, I'm using for loop and if uh, statement and then I will uh, I display it on the um, uh, table so for my style so I'm using I'm using this style 
Ayan. And then this is my root file, so index. So if I run the program through the um, uh, browser, it will type the uh, index that it's be it automatically forward forward the the link to form so I include form for uh, viewing purpose so that's all for uh, my demonstration so thank you for thank you for watching see you on the next video